All right, guys, welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Hook and Bass 92. And today I decided to do a, an experiment on fishing lures. Um, my experiment is going to be doing two poles out, two, uh, three different rigs. The first rig I'm going to use is a saltwater paddle tail swim bait on a Texas rig. My second bait is a Cinco that's wacky rigged. And my third rig would be the Wild Eye. Wild Eye Live Bluegill Storm Swim Bait. So basically what I'm going to do is throw each rig 30 minutes each and see which lure works the best. My opinion is a Senko on a Wacky Rig is going to do the, the best because, I mean, bass just love them and they can't resist them and just like the Senko Wacky Rig. I never really use saltwater bait in freshwater. I don't really think it matters, but I'm pretty sure this might do some work because it has sparkles on it and it swims really good in the water. But the bait I'm really worried about is this storm swim bait. I mean, I, I mean, I like storm baits, but I really don't catch anything off their swim baits that are basically rubber swim baits. I don't know why. I guess the bass where I'm fishing are too small to eat it, but we'll go right here. Looks like it's perfect size. Guys, I'm gonna get to the pond. I'll see you there and see which one works the best. All right. First bait I'm gonna try is this uh, saltwater paddle tail swim bait. Chop off this. Got one. Yeah. Stay down. Yes. Freaking crush that. Oh yeah. Good sizer. To the day. He cranked that. He literally tried to like swallow it and look how small it is. It doesn't matter what size the hook is. If they want it, they're gonna get it. So Alright, see it dude. There's one for that. I feel like if you throw it back in this cove, like um like back there where it's shallow, the they're sitting over there. Focus. I got caught. You can do like different retrievals. You can like reel it, stop it, reel it, stop it, or you can just reel it in. They're cool. That guy's cool. That was cool as him. There we go. Oh my gosh, come on. Come on. Keep tight. Get in here, little buddy. Yes. There's one. One to one. Sorry, buddy. Guy freaking smoked and started doing his like pulling his head down on the side and it, this guy's fight really 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 hard. And fish, one for the sinko and one for the paddle tail. Oh, 
Oh, that was a nice hit. He freaking crushed that. Jesus. Oh my god, he yeah, crushed that. The little fella coming with the kill. Woo, that's two. This is ridiculous how they love this Senko. Look at that. So there's two, two for the us. Two for the Senko, one for the paddle. So I'm going to rip my worm in half, so I'm going to have to get a new worm. I'm going to get my phone and switch to the live target blue go in 15 minutes. Twelve o'clock, twelve fifteen. We'll uh, switch to the live target. So we got two on the Cinco, one on the swim bait paddle tail. I'm saying could do work, buddy. Got one. There's another one. I knew that was gonna be a fish. Stay down, stay down, Tommy. Turn my freaking drag up. It's a bigger one too. Oh, I flew my worm off. Yes. It's probably the biggest one of the day. Now oh, he's peeing on me. He peed all over me. Here <laughs> you go, keep swimming. Nice, keep going. No, other way. Good. I really want to catch one on this live target. So I can't wait till that's time. The time is for that. I never caught anything off that yet. Better one. Say that. Trying to shake it off crazy. Yes. Five. Five. Now I ripped my sink in half. It's five for the Cinco, buddy. I don't know. Live Target Blue Girl, you got a lot of work to do, bud. bait and just one pull because that's all I have left. I'm not allowed to use uh, any other pull or any other bait. This lake's very challenging. This pond's very challenging but I mean if I if I use my strengths and stuff and techniques I might get something. This water's a lot dirtier than um, the one over there. The one is pretty clear you can see on here you can't see at all because it's all murky and stuff so hopefully the vibration of this swim bait gets the fish fish's attention and sorry about that fountain you guys can't really hear because that's the fountain i can't do anything about it i just wanted to try this pond for a less because every time i there's Last time I was here, I caught like a three pounder. It was like six, ooh, 16 inches long. I think it's huge. It wasn't like big. It was just like, it was just like very, very long. Most of fish over here. It's so like murky. I really 
the water's so dirty here. Guys, so uh, the challenge is done. Looks like the Cinco won. We caught a total of six bass. Um, the Cinco caught five of them. The saltwater swim bait paddle tail caught one. And the wild eye live target bluegill didn't catch anything. So if you're going to go to the ponds, I would recommend the Cinco if you're going to want to catch some fish. Because the Cinco had about, it caught five fish and had about, I lost like three, so I could have had um, eight of them. So it really doesn't. It really doesn't matter, but if you throw a Senko in anywhere in any pond, I'm pretty sure you're going to catch up. All right, guys, I just want to say thank you for watching this episode. As, as always, catch big fish. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.